Today's project diary is a step-by-step -step guide on how to grow lemon trees from seeds. Hi and welcome to Project Diaries. Today I'm going to teach you how to grow lemon trees from leftover lemons. Now first off, all you need to do is get some seeds. Now in order not to cut through all the seeds, you want to cut from top to bottom. This is a leftover half from earlier, so I'm just going to cut it into thirds. As you can see, there's a seed in the first piece, so I'm just going to cut through the others to see if there's any more. It doesn't seem to be, so I'm just going to prise this one out slowly and gently with the knife. There you go. Now just get a piece of kitchen towel and wipe off any of the juice or slimy residue. This will help you have a better grip for when it comes to taking off the outer layer next. Now once you've dried the seed off, you'll notice there's a round end on one side and a pointy end on the other. Pushing your fingernail into the pointy end will help you peel the seed a lot quicker. If you don't peel off the outside coating, this seed could actually go rotten or it could take over three weeks to start germinating. Using this technique has given me 100% success rate every time I've tried to germinate these seeds. Now this is much easier when you're trying not to film, so I'm just going to speed this part up. Now once you've got your seed, you're going to need two little pieces of kitchen roll, some cling film and some water. Now the key part here is using just enough water for the kitchen roll to soak up. You don't want it completely soaked or dripping. You also don't want it too dry. Now all citrus and fruit trees benefit by having two or three of the same variety in the same area. The reason for this is so bees can cross pollinate the trees and this gives you a bigger yield and juicier fruit. Just to speed up the filming, I will do a second one later on. Now just place your seeds in the centre. If you're using more than one, make sure they're separated. Then fold over each corner and pad down to make sure there's no air pockets. This next step is completely up to you. I like using cling film, but you can use a Ziploc bag or an airtight Tupperware box. Now just place your kitchen roll in the centre and wrap the cling film around the sides making sure there's no air pockets. Once you've folded over the final piece of the cling film and squeezed all the air out, this needs to go indoors in a dark warm place like an airing cupboard for a week or so. Seven days later your seed should look something like this. Now you can leave them longer, but I like to get them into the soil as soon as possible. Now what you need next is a small pot with some multi-purpose compost in it. All you need to do is make a small hole and make it two to three times deeper than the actual seed itself. It doesn't actually matter which side you put the seed in because it will right itself eventually anyway. Then just lightly cover over the seed and pat it down to make sure there's no air pockets. Then just water it in gently. Once you finish potting, leave it in a place that has lots of sunshine. Just over a week later, you should see the seedling just starting to emerge. Three weeks after that, you should see the first true leaves. Now it's not usually advisable to grow these over the winter, but I have, so I've brought these indoors. I've decided to use an old noodle packet to help with legginess and it will reflect any sunlight during the day. Now I'm only using this to reflect the sunlight onto the plants during the winter. I wouldn't use this in the summer months because it will burn the leaves. As you can see in this photo, I have repotted them into bigger pots. Now citrus trees love loads of drainage, so please make sure you put holes in the bottom first. Now if for some reason your leaves start going yellow, don't panic. This just means that you're overwatering them. Just hold off for a week or so and the leaves should turn back to green again. So here they are 12 weeks later. Just going to give you a close up on them. Now as I've grown these over the winter, they have grown a lot slower. Um, so I've already shown you what happens when you overwater them. This is what happens when you underwater them. The leaves start curling up. So I thought I'd show you the difference between the two. 
Now if your leaves have got a silvery uh, path in them or turning a funny colour, now this is a completely different problem altogether. This is a, that's leaf miner uh, and that's a bug that's actually attacking the tree itself. Um, so you want to just snap off those leaves and just try to protect it the best way you can. I will do a, a different video on um, predators and things that attack your flowers and plants another day. But uh, I just thought I'd show you how to grow a lemon tree. Please subscribe if you'd like to hear about all of my future video updates. Here's the links to all of my previous videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.